years. When King Herod ruled Judea, that's now part of Israel, God sent the angel Gabriel to a young woman who lived in a village called Nazareth. The girl's name was Mary, and she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Gabriel suddenly appeared to Mary. Peace be with you. God has blessed you and is pleased with you. As you can imagine, Mary was very surprised by this and wondered what the angel meant. But Gabriel explained more to her. Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been very kind to you. He's chosen you to be the mother of his own son. You will give birth to a baby boy, and he will be called Jesus. How can I have a baby? You will become pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Your baby will be God's own son, and his kingdom will never end. Your cousin Elizabeth, who everyone said was too old to have a baby, is six months pregnant with a baby boy. Nothing is impossible with God. I don't completely understand what you mean, but I trust God, so let it happen as God chooses. Joseph found out that Mary was expecting a baby before their marriage had taken place. He was very worried. He thought Mary had been unfaithful to him and wondered if he should cancel the wedding altogether. Then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream. Don't be afraid to marry Mary. She has been chosen by God to be the mother of his son. The baby will be called Jesus and he will save his people. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel had told him to do and married Mary. At this time, the land where Mary and Joseph lived was part of the Roman Empire. The Roman Emperor Augustus wanted to have a list of all the people in the empire to make sure they paid their taxes. He ordered everyone to return to the town where their families originally came from and enter their names in a register or census there. Mary and Joseph traveled a long way, about 70 miles or 115 kilometers from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town where Joseph's family came from. Joseph and Mary traveled very slowly because Mary's baby was due to be born very soon. When they reached Bethlehem, they had trouble finding somewhere to stay. So many people had come to register their names in the census that every house was full and every bed was taken in all of the spare rooms. The only shelter that they could find was with the animals, in a cave, stable, or in the bottom floor of a house where the family animals were kept. So in this unclean and probably smelly place, Mary gave birth to Jesus, the Son of God. Out in the hills and fields outside Bethlehem, some shepherds were looking after their sheep through the long night. Wow, it's cold out here. Yeah, put another log on the fire, Amos. But as the new day began, an angel suddenly appeared, and the glory of God shone around the angel. The shepherds were very, very frightened. But the angel said, Don't be afraid. I have good news for you and everyone. Today, down in Bethlehem, the Savior sent by God has been born. You will find him as a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. Then many more angels appeared, lighting up the sky. All the angels sang, praising God.
When Jesus was born, a brand new bright star appeared in the sky. Some wise men in a faraway country saw the star. They were very clever men that studied the stars. A star in that part of the sky at this time of year means that a new and very important king has been born in Judea. So knowing how important this event was, they set out to find the new king and bring gifts. The wise men followed the star towards the country of Judea. We three kings of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse afar. shepherds had seen what the angels foretold and the Lord promised. Baby Jesus would bring the light of love into the world. A love that